some council decisions require a majority vote and some require unanimous decisions. Can you explain some of the background behind that thought process and maybe some examples? Yeah, so I actually had to go and look this up. It's been a long time since we went through the creation of the, the governance bylaws, right, of the, of the LLC. And by the way, you all can go and see this. I think um, Lena may publish it. Yeah, there we go. So uh, there, there's a link that gives an overview of this information. Uh, it's all there if you're interested. I'm going to refer to my notes here as we go through this. And I'll try to be brief. But um, a majority, of the, the typical threshold for most decisions that are made is just simple majority. A majority of the members is sort of the the standard best practice in association governance, and it ensures that all council decisions have an explicit uh, participation of the majority in those decisions. There is a threshold, two thirds of the members. This threshold is generally used for extraordinary changes to the council members, such as removing a member before the end of their term or, or reelecting a, a member to the second term. As I've mentioned earlier, it requires two thirds vote for a member to get the second term. Of course, we expect that to, to, to happen for most, if not all council members. Then there's the three quarters of the members as a threshold. Uh, of course, that's an even higher bar. And you know, when thinking about what possibly that could apply to, it would be major corporate changes of, um, uh, of the LLC, maybe dissolving the LLC or, or changing its tax status would require three quarters of the members. There's another threshold, 80%, more than 80%. It's actually more than 80% of the members. It's used for only uh, one decision. I'm reading my notes. It's used for only one decision of the council. Um, that is the threshold required to require additional capital contributions from the members. So if it were the case, by the way, when, when a member joins, there's no capital, con there's a hundred dollar capital contribution to become a member of the LLC. So it's, there's a nominal cap capital contribution. Hypothetically, if the council wanted to force uh, all the members to contribute more capital, it would require more than 80% of them to vote to do so. Don't expect that to happen, but it's in there. And then finally, unanimous consent of the members. This is the highest possible threshold. Uh, it's required so that the original member, which is Swirls, can basically block certain types of changes to, to the council. Uh, and it can be changing the membership terms, changing node payments and, and network pricing principles, not the amounts, but the principles behind which all of that was set up. Uh, changing the distribution structure, et cetera. So there are certain things that are sort of fundamental to the model itself that would have just enormous impact. And in, in that case, it requires a unanimous consent, unanimous uh, agreement on, on those types of changes.